So your MacBook's draining battery while it's in sleep mode or shut off? Mine does too, but I'm gonna show you some tips on how to actually limit that. Let's get into the video. All right, thanks for coming back, and please subscribe to help the channel grow. This one's about battery life. So I have the issue, and a lot of people do, if you have a MacBook, and uh, you're either putting it in sleep mode, or even when sometimes when you turn off the MacBook and just power it off, the battery is still gonna be diffusing, and sometimes it's more than you think it should be. For instance, I mean, I showed, I had a video, a couple of videos back showing you the performance of an M1 MacBook Air, the battery performance, actually, how long it lasts for me. It was about nine and a half hours, somewhere in there. But, you know, when I wasn't using it during the days that I didn't use it, and I just had it shut and sleep, you know, it was losing like three, four, five percent of battery, maybe somewhere in that range. And uh, there's some reasons for that. And so what I did is I did some research and I put together a video here and I'm gonna show you a bunch of different things you can do to limit that drain while your stuff's shut off or while it's in sleep mode. So without further ado, we'll get into the video. Again, if you're having problems with your, your battery being drained overnight or if it's in sleep mode, this is gonna help you a little bit. Check these things, let me know what you think. They definitely help me out. Let's get into the video. All right, number one. It's basically unplug any USB devices that you have connected to, to the computer directly. So if this is not necessarily always going to be the case, but let's say you have a hub or you have a keyboard or something that's connected to it, and it's going through the, the USB-C port or the USB, I guess, A port in an old, old Mac. Um, what you want to do then is you want to go ahead and just kind of unplug it, make sure it's unplugged, and then when it's in sleep mode, it can't be drawing any power because sometimes power does get drawn from those devices when it's in sleep mode. Um, some people argue that even when it's off, even though that, that's unlikely, but still, just definitely unplug them if you can, if it's going to be a long time. Uh, don't leave them on overnight or something like that. It might drain a little bit extra power for you. So that's going to be my tip number one. It can be, again, anything from hubs to, to keyboards to anything that's going to be connected to that port. That port needs to draw power, so just, just get rid of it and disconnect it. Number two, so basically you want to check for unnecessary background processes that are running. And uh, one possible reason for your MacBook battery to be draining while it sleeps is the processes that run in the background. So these are often initiated by login items that can be turned off, and you can turn these off pretty easily. Um, login items are applications that get automatically opened up when you log in. They can consume CPU resources and may affect your battery life over time. So what you need to do is you want to go into your um, system preferences and then go to users. Uh, let me see here, users and groups. Try to find users and groups and then go to the login items and look through that list and see if there's anything that you don't need in there and just disable or you know, remove some of the things that you really don't think you need. It's gonna save a little bit of battery here and there. Number three is turn off power nap. So power nap's built into either the older Macs or the newer Macs. It's a little bit different place for each of them, but basically it's a feature in macOS that allows your MacBook to continue checking calendar and email information and iCloud while it's asleep. And, uh, you know, while it's doing that, though, it can actually consume some battery. So keep that in mind. You know, obviously, it has to be getting power from somewhere. So the best way to do this is you can kind of disable this while it's, you know, disable power nap. And the way you can do that is on an older Mac, basically, you really just have to go into the energy saver. Or you can just look, you know, go ahead and, and spotlight, look up power nap, um, and it'll be in there. But there's basically going to be a checkbox that says enable power map, and you can see it checked on the screen here. You would uncheck that, and that basically means that while sleeping, your Mac would not be able to go ahead and do that. So that's one way to do it. It's pre actually worked pretty good for me. All right, number four is pretty easy one. Go ahead and search for viruses and malware. So viruses, Trojans, adware, malware, and all similar issues can drain your battery life when you don't even know it. Obviously, that's the case if you get something bad on there. So the viruses are often running on parts of the software in the background. So it's worth checking you know, your Mac on a regular basis with the virus protection, even though it's a Mac. Uh, something might be using those resources, especially if you notice something over time just happened really, you know, over the last week or something, it gets really bad. Definitely check viruses because that be, could definitely be one of the reasons why it's happening. All right, number five is going to be disable Bluetooth while your MacBook sleeps. This one's going to be one of the ones that could be a pain to do, but it definitely does save some, some energy for sure. Also, if you use Bluetooth keyboard, mouse, speakers, or other Bluetooth items on your MacBook, there's a setting in the system preferences that allows you to tap a key on the keyboard or the button to wake up the computer. And what you want to do is this feature, you know, means that keeping Bluetooth enabled while your Mac sleeps. 
So it's basically going to be consuming battery over time as the end result of that. So you want to go ahead and prevent this small battery drain. You can go ahead and uncheck that specific box there. So if you go into your, your Mac and you can definitely do something under the Bluetooth settings, just go into Bluetooth settings and then there's an advanced button in there. And under the advanced button it says allow Bluetooth devices to wake this computer up. You can see it on the third bullet there. You want to go ahead and uncheck that. And it's going to save just a, a little bit of battery each time while it's in sleep mode by doing that. So that's another tip. All right, number six is a pretty easy one as well, but this is gonna probably be the most painful of all. It's basically disabling Wi-Fi before you put your computer to sleep. And uh, there's a button you can do that pretty easily. Um, you know, very similar to this dis disabling Bluetooth, you can also disable wi you know, your Wi-Fi connection. And this is gonna be ensuring that nothing's getting updated or it's searching for anything while it's in sleep mode. Now, obviously, you have some other settings that may be searching for stuff, but if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't really do it. Um, so that's one way to do it. So I would, you know, if you really want to get the most out of your battery, just disabling Wi-Fi is a good option. Again, it's not something that you want to do all the time. Maybe you're going to have it, you know, over the course of a long time. You know, you want to go ahead and and uh, leave your computer maybe for a week or three days where you're not using it, but it's still in sleep mode. You can go ahead and disable it. And uh, again, it's one of those things where it's not for everybody, but it is one of the things on the list that's going to prevent the drain. Number seven. Disable notifications while your Mac sleeps. So there's no setting that allows you to turn off all notifications while your Mac is asleep. But you can, but there's a setting that disables notifications while the screen is off. That's the key. Um, and if your MacBook is asleep, then it's safe to say that your screen will also be off and asleep. So there's the, the caveat around that. Uh, therefore, this will work in a setting that can check to stop this. So what you want to do in here is you can go into not your notifications and system preferences and you'll see it up on the screen here. Um, it says when the display is sleeping, there's a little checkbox there. So turn, it says turn on do not disturb notification center and you can have that so when the, you can have it so that it's turned on when, when the computer is sleeping so it's not going to do notifications and that'll help you with battery life there as well. So check that setting out. You can kind of fool with it, see if it saves you anything, but it has saved me, I would say, a very, very small amount. I did notice it because I've been doing testing on this. So check that one out as well. And then number eight is the last one and probably the most obvious one. This is going to be replacing your battery. So if you actually notice that your battery is, is losing a lot of, you know, percentage wise, well, it's in either sleep mode or if it's off and uh, you open it up and it's five or 10% drained in like less than a day. A lot of times you want to go in and check your battery status. Definitely check how many cycle counts. I have a video on how, how you can check all that stuff on cycle counts and how you can see the, the percentage of your battery's health and stuff. You want to check that out because usually with a bad battery, you're going to come along, you know, obviously it's going to drain faster. Also, it's going to drain a lot faster when it's off or when it's in sleep mode as well. So instead of doing all these other things, you know, check your battery probably first just to make sure it's not an issue like that. And then you can go on to the other things to see. But if you have like 100% battery life or 90%, you know, quality of your battery, then you can try the other things. But if it's like at 50% or something's wrong with it, definitely you may have to go to Apple and, you know, pay the 175 bucks or whatever it costs to get the new battery. All right. So post in the comments what you think is the best method. I noticed that all these work just a little bit. Some work better than others, and over time it may save you, you know, basically half of what it was draining. So, for instance, if it was draining over the course of a week of never turning it on 10%, it might only be draining 4 or 5%. And while that doesn't seem like a lot, over time and over just a whole bunch of different scenarios where you actually need that battery in a, in a pinch, it might actually help you out. And also, if you're just one of those people that just love to get everything out of their battery to keep your cycles down and everything like that, give it a shot. But post in the comments, because when I find out from people what really works for them, it helps me make other videos. It helps me you know, give information that's really useful to people. So post some comments. Let me know what you think. I'll definitely, you know, I try to respond to 100% of them. And uh, you know, with 300 and something videos now I have out there, just want to get my subscriber base up. So I want more interaction, more people posting comments and stuff is going to definitely help that do, you know, grow. So I'll talk to everyone soon. I appreciate support so far. Peace.